Nessuno può sfuggire dal destino scelto. Rimane solo il risultato che voi sarete distrutti. L'eterna cima esiste solo per me. Puoi cantare canzoni di tristezza nel mondo senza tempo. I just want to get this out of the way, I personally do not see how King Crimson is at all better than its own Requiem form. Feel free to disagree completely, but from my own experiences, I would argue that King Crimson Requiem is absolutely on the same level as base King Crimson, if not potentially higher in the future. King Crimson's main combo is a bug. It has been listed as a bug on the public bug list, and I can guarantee that once it is fixed, the usage of King Crimson will drop right down. That being said, you can stay ahead of the game by getting to know King Crimson Requiem. KCR has several high damage moves which pair exceptionally well with Hamon. Not only does it have the second highest base damage in the game just behind D4C Love Train, KCR also has access to an incredibly powerful counter move with Epitaph's upgrades and an amazing movement and spacing option in Timer Race. I'm going to use this video as a guide to using KCR, but more so explaining why I believe you should absolutely consider evolving your King Crimson to its highest form. King Crimson can be obtained using a stand arrow at a 2.5% chance. It can then be evolved using a Requiem arrow into King Crimson Requiem. It is advised that you have maximum worthiness while using a Requiem arrow to ensure that it does not fail and waste your time and money. As previously mentioned, King Crimson Requiem has the second highest base damage in the game just behind D4C Love Train. As such, this is immediately an upgrade of some degree since you'll be using a lot of M1s and barrages anyway, even with base King Crimson. Other differences between King Crimson and its Requiem form include an obvious model change, but more importantly changes to its moveset. We'll go over this more in depth in a second, but to start off, Epitaph for example now has an optional upgrade which increases Epitaph's cooldown. However, you gain access to Raging Demon, which is a supremely powerful damage dealer counter. KCR at this time has lost access to base KC's Chop and Impale moves, however it now has a broad arsenal of attacks that I believe replace them, and is therefore one of the reasons I believe KCR is absolutely on the same level as King Crimson. Not only are his new attacks better in my opinion, the fact he has so many moves at once means that KCR usually has an answer to every situation coupled with the ability to be just cheap enough points-wise to make effective builds, I think KCR can qualify for one of the best stands in the game. Maybe not the best, but he is absolutely up there. Alright, let's get into it. Timer Race is one of KCR's best options for movement, positioning, dodging, and of course, combos. While using Time Erase, everyone's initial position will be marked by a red cylinder. During this move, you will be completely invisible and have high jumps, however, you will not be able to sprint. Once this move ends, everyone but yourself will be reset to the positions marked by their red cylinders. This move is so cool and fun to use because the opponent has no idea what you're going to do when Time Erase ends. You can literally use any move you have, and they have to guess how to counter or dodge it because they don't know which one you're going to use. As such, you can play a lot of mind games and be tricky with the moves that you can throw out. Next up is Epitaph. On activation of this move, your screen will turn red and the red patch on KCR's head will glow, alerting your opponents that you are using Epitaph. If you are hit while Epitaph is activated, you will dodge their attack, negate the damage and teleport behind them. However, with the Raging Demon upgrade, you will do an automatic attack which deals stupid damage, especially with Hamon, and ragdoll them at the end. This is important for our combos later on. As a side note, you can move and attack while having Epitaph active, however be warned that if you are using a move, even something like charging your Hamon while Epitaph is hit, there is a chance that Raging Demon will not activate. I'm not sure whether this is a bug or whether it's intended, but keep it in mind. Next up you have Reality Marble. Originally this move would induce blindness and trap the opponent in a small box, however at the time of writing this video it currently only induces blindness. Again I am unsure as to whether this is a bug or an intended balance change, but I thought it was worth mentioning. 
King Crimson Requiem also gets access to Dimension Slash. In my opinion, this is one of the key defining difference makers between using King Crimson or its Requiem form. Dimension Slash pulls out a scythe and slashes with it, causing a dimensional rift to appear in a straight line in front of you. This has a massive hitbox, so you can even use it to catch stands above you, like on platforms or in the air from stand jump. Furthermore, this attack will do a very decent amount of damage, but will more importantly take a limb. What makes this move so amazing, however, is that it cannot be perfect blocked and always block breaks, no matter the range. This makes it incredibly hard to dodge if you time it correctly, and if it manages to block break, this allows for some nice combos, particularly with M1, we'll get to that. And if it does hit, taking a limb is equally as punishing. Taking a leg allows them to be slow enough for you to absolutely bully them with your moves, and taking an arm allows you to do even more damage, which takes your base damage past that of D4C Love Train. With that being said, last but not least is Time Skip, which is a simple teleport move like what the Time Stop stands would have. This move is really nice for escaping combos, but I personally use it for getting up close and using Zoom Punch for stuns, confusing them by going behind them and using Dimension Slash, or just getting close and using M1. Keeping it real, I think that Hamon is definitely the best spec for KCR. The block break power in Scarlet Overdrive and the Zoom Punch stun just suit KCR so, so well. We'll get to why in a minute. And having Hamon further boost his amazingly high base damage is awesome. I don't deny you could definitely also abuse Spin as a spec, since the Steel Balls have a lot of stun too. But I think overall I would go Hamon for both the damage buffs, defense buffs, and the moves. KCR absolutely excels at one thing more than any other stand, and in my opinion, that is stuns. Stuns are really important in YBA combat at the moment, and it really helps KCR to have such a high base damage as he can absolutely abuse his ability to consistently stun his opponents and dish out a lot of damage just from M1s. Time Erase is exceptional for quickly applying a zoom punch stun to the opponent, which, let's face it, stuns for far too long and is a bit unbalanced. Alternatively, if they're blocking, Scarlet Overdrive, which forces a block break. This means you can safely fit in two to three M1s and finish it with a zoom punch for a nifty 40 to 50 damage. Epitaph is of course amazing just for the stupid damage that Raging Demon does, however that is not where it ends. Just want to point out that I'm not the first to discover this at all, in fact there was a popular video uploaded about this months ago, I'll probably show it on screen. However, I am yet to see it used in PvP, so I'll do you guys a favour of um, re-showing it here. During Raging Demon, you can put KCR away. This doesn't stop you from doing damage, but it cuts the Raging Demons short and stops KCR from doing the final punch on the Ragdoll. That being said, you are freed from the stun before your opponent is. As such, you are then able to perform a zoom punch, stunning them for even longer and preventing them from pulling their stand out. As a result, you can then land a free barrage and if you're lucky, a few cheeky M1s or a Scarlet Overdrive to end it. This is somewhat similar to Casey's Impale Getup combos, which alongside this KCR Epitaph combo should also be nerfed. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's a bug, but either way, you shouldn't be able to infinitely combo people from zero to death, no matter the stand. And is another reason why I believe KCR is currently really underrated, bug or not. An alternative combo with Raging Demon is to use Dimension Slash as they get up from the Ragdoll hit, however stands with Time Skip or a counter may be able to escape this. It shouldn't be a problem though, as with practice you can quickly swing and re-aim the scythe to their new location. You can even throw in a reality marble just to mess with them even more just before you use the scythe if you prefer. Another easy combo is to simply time skip in range to your opponent if you need it, then throw in a zoom punch, two left clicks and a scarlet overdrive. If it block breaks, then use more left clicks. If it ragdolls, great, now you have extra fire damage. I personally like to use Dimension Slash whenever I manage to ragdoll them as it forces them to either use their time skip if they have it, or, if, or just use up their dash. Knowing this, I can safely use Time Erase to punish them and they know that they won't be able to escape from it. Another quick tip about Time Erase, when it ends your opponent will be facing you directly, so be careful of them barraging or kick barraging or using some kind of move to deter your attacks. Big advice here is to watch and mentally note how your opponent reacts to Time Erase. Do they nether block? Then you can safely start with a Zoom Punch. Do they always block, then block break with Scarlet Overdrive and then use Zoom Punch? Do they try to use a move to interrupt you when Time Erase ends? Try waiting it out before your Time Erase ends. You must be careful when using this move, but at the same time, if you can use it right, it is really strong. 
Similar advice goes for Epitaph. Do not panic and be baited into using it. That is exactly what the enemy wants you to do. You have to remember that the trade-off for having Raging Demon is a much longer cooldown compared to base KC's Epitaph. Don't waste this move. Use it conservatively and know when you'll make a difference. KCR has an answer to every single stand with the immense power of stuns, counters and high damage. However, the stand you will struggle with the most is... Not a time stop stand, baby! Woo! Yeah! But in all seriousness, it's Gold Experience Requiem. Of course it's Gold Experience Requiem. Gold Experience Requiem can counter everything. Return to Zero is your bane here, especially with Time Erase, as they can be cancelled entirely. I do, however, have some advice for fighting GERs, as I personally haven't struggled against one yet as KCR, although that is probably subject to change. First of all, bait out Return to Zero with Time Erase. Against the GER, you will be sacrificing this move as a combo starter into more of a way to bait out RTZ. I know, it sounds crazy, but trust me on this. You're doing this so that you can be safer when trying to combo GER. The way I like to do this is to time erase, wait a second, and then end it prematurely. A large majority of the time, if you held it just long enough, the girl will use RTZ, but if you release it early enough, you'll be just fine and it won't affect you. Oh, also, quick tip for time stopped stands. Against the World Over Heaven and Star Platinum the World, don't use Time Erase until they've used up their time stops. I like to keep a finger on Z ready to use Time Erase whenever I see them do the big special move time stop pose. Hold down Time Erase just before the time stops and hold it for as long as you can. During that time, the time that you've erased, the opponent can do nothing to you in their time stop. Against the world, the world alternate universe and star platinum, you can use time erase about once before they build up some rage and at that point save it ready for the time stop. But however with these stands, you can listen for the rage scream for a cue when to be ready to do it. I won't pretend to be the best KCR user. I also won't say for definite that KCR is better than KC at this exact moment either. The reason I say that is because while I have beaten several relatively decent King Crimson players in 1v1s, on the day of writing this I had my win streak of about 40 broken by another leaderboard player who was using base King Crimson. As such, I think it really depends on which stand better suits your playstyle. Do you want to go for more of those infinite combos? King Crimson is for you. Do you prefer playing a little more tricky and using some nice stuns? Then King Crimson Requiem is for you. Side note, GG's to the guy that I just mentioned that beat me. I'd love to rematch you, but I cannot for the life of me find out what your name was, so if you see this, hit me up in the comments, bro. I think balance-wise, KCR and KC are a little too powerful, but for the wrong reasons. I love KCR, but I think the Epitaph Zoom Punch combo is a bit busted and should be patched. I am definitely sure that's not intended to be possible, and I don't think you should become reliant on it. As an extension of that, Dev Team, you guys are doing awesome, but please fix the get-up stun on KC's Impale move. There is no reason that you should be able to be attacked while getting up from a stun, and it be mechanically and functionally impossible for you to dodge or block beforehand if the KC times it right. Those are my only complaints about this pair of stands. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate that this was a bit of a longer one, but KCR deserved it, as it's one of my favourite stands and there's a lot of discussion between it and normal KC at the moment. If you liked what you watched today, please consider subscribing so I know that you'd like to see more. I'll also do my best to answer any questions in the comment section, so please feel free to write whatever you'd like down below. I also stream a variety of games on Twitch, link on screen and in the description, so if you want to chat and hang out with me when I go live, just drop a follow. We had some crazy moments on stream last time, and it would be awesome if more of you came along. I hope that these dumb combos on both of these stands, Requiem or not, get changed and fixed, because I hard disagree with the game facilitating glitchy, infinite combos like this. That being said, I hope to see you all become masters of the King of Crimson, and I'll see you next time.